Hello and welcome to our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. I'm your host, Adeze Adwaka. And I am EJ Kimura, your co-host. Now, let's dive into the latest buzz in the world of beauty, fashion and lifestyle. These are the headlines. The band and Don Jazzy evoke nostalgia in announcement video for Entertainer 2.0. Chrissy Teigen spotted in plunging dress on a rare date night with John Legend. Blake Lively receives backlash amid press store for It Ends With Us. And on our trending segment, the band made the announcement in a clip that features actor Gideon Okeke and long-term associate Don Jazzy who made a cameo for his upcoming album, the band has recruited a selection of global stars for his album, including Grammy Award winner Wyclef Jean, Congolese icon Awilo Logomba, Senegalese music icon Yusu Nudeur, Akon, DJ Mafarissa, and Chechi Sarai. Ahead of the album release, the band has released a new single titled Worthy featuring Yusu Ndour and Chechi Saria. The single was released on July 19 and it offers listeners a glimpse of what to expect from the Bond's upcoming album. Following his album release, the Bond is set to embark on a tour of major cities globally in partnership with the Temple Company. And on our sports segment, Chrissy Teigen proudly flaunted her breast lift scars while rocking a plunging gown for a romantic night out with her husband, John Legend. The Cravings author shared a video of herself in the flirty and revealing black satin dress to our Instagram story on Tuesday night. Date night. Very rare, but it happens. Tegan said in the video as a legend approached her in the background. Chrissy is one lady that I love so much. She's so bold and beautiful. She's one lady that is not afraid to share her thoughts on social media. She doesn't care what you say. You well, why do they say very uh -huh. rare? Do they not go on dates or...? very rare no i like think they barely see them on dates that's what, that's mm -hmm. what i think they're... i think the red we're talking about is about half flaunting her body i don't oh, think okay, she okay, i don't okay, think okay. she does that okay, on a normal okay, day okay. i think she's pretty reserved yeah i mean the legend's wife what do you expect but she's pretty showing reserved. up her her scars yeah you know, that this ugh, i don't know about There's that beauty and on to our editorial segment blake lively subtly hit back at backlash surrounding her it ends with us press tour amid claims the actress has not focused on the film's mm. serious themes and namely its depiction of domestic violence she reshared a clip tuesday on her instagram story from an interview with bbc news and in the clip lively said this about her character lily bloom she is not just a survivor and she's not just a victim and while those are huge things to be, they are not her identity. Girl. What do you think about this? I feel like it's such a tricky subject because, I mean, there has to be a reason why she doesn't want to talk about it. I mean, she's she's in, in her role, but I don't know why they're... They always have something to say. I don't know why. They always do. I feel like if I have a movie out there, I should promote anything I want to promote because it's my time to shine. Exactly. I mean, it's my moment and I'm playing lead role. So yeah. if it's my movie and I have an opportunity to sell my market, maybe yeah. I have a skincare line, a hairline, my darling, I will sell it. In a heartbeat. It. In I a heartbeat, sell it. yeah. And then my husband is also my bedrock. I mean, if he also has a movie and I want to promote it, I'll promote it. And on our new collection, announcing on Instagram, the Smashing Pumpkins have teamed up with Heaven by Mac Jacobs to drop a new fashion capsule collection. The range is comprised of a number of clothing items inspired by the band's album artwork throughout the years and includes a Siamese dream themed baby tee, infinite sadness tour, long sleeve tee, and a zero zip up hoodie. And on Spicy or Not, Julia Fox once again made New York City her catwalk as she stepped out in one of her typical wild outfits. And this time, she brought some steampunk energy to the streets of the Big Apple. The Uncut Gems star wore a pair of highly covered vintage silver Oakley over-the-top sunglasses that wrapped around the top of her head, with the Google-like Y2K style retailing for a whopping $2,999 on the resale market. The futuristic Sunnies have been seen in movies such as Spy Kids, Spider-Man, and Blade 2, and iconic early art sports moments like a Trinidadian sprinter Atu Bolton at the 2000 Sydney Olympics. Swedish pro golfer Jarmo Sandelin and rapper Flavor Flav even hit the stage in a pair back in 2003. 
Hmm. I've seen those. Such iconic sunglasses. Yeah, I saw sort of Flavor Flav. Yeah. You know, Flavor Flav is the, mm -hmm. the whole crazy. Yeah, I think it's... Do you think you're going to spend that amount of money on Girl, sunglasses? That's a lot. That's almost $3,000. Yeah. Do you think you're going to spend that amount Girl, on no. sunglasses? No, I don't I think actually so. actually will. I would Funny enough, I will. $3,000? I am a no. sucker for sunglasses. No. I would waste my money on sunglasses, perfumes, and wigs. These are my thing. Chuck my money. Mine are shoes, bags, and no, I'm not wigs. a shoe person. I'm, I'm, a shoe I'm person. not a shoe person. <laughs> Don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. And until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye. Bye.